Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another exciting unboxing video to share with you all. I picked up a handbag from Saint Laurent and I think it is the best designer handbag for under a thousand dollars. I know a thousand dollars is a lot of money, but when we're talking designer handbags, that's very reasonable when we're talking quality, details and the versatility. So I am so excited to share this purchase with you. You guys know that one of my very favorite things to do is to find good value versatile items that are reasonably priced and share with you all whether it be luxury or non-luxury items just because I just want more of you guys to know about these items when I find them and they may be a really great addition to your wardrobe as well. So this is the only second item that I've ever bought from Saint Laurent. The first item is the one that you can see right here. It is the Saint Laurent Uptown pouch in the black with the gold hardware and I have been using it so much. It is such good value for money. I think that Saint Laurent has amazing quality leather items for pretty reasonable prices. So I went back to have a look at some of the handbags and I'm so happy to have found this one. So without further ado, let us get into the unboxing. So it comes in a beautiful black paper bag as all Saint Laurent items come in. It is so chic with the black and white. And inside of it, my beautiful bag comes in this beautiful box and there is a receipt in there as well. So there's my receipt. I did pick my bag up from the St. Lawrence store within David Jones, which is like a department store here in Australia. I think a lot of you know by now because I always explain what David Jones is. So my beautiful handbag is in this box and I just can't wait to show you what I picked up. I've got a beautiful ribbon wrapped around the box. Oh my goodness, the team at David Jones St. Laurent is just amazing. They're just so beautiful, couldn't fault their service. But anyway, let's get into the box. I can show you what I got. So let me just take the ribbon off, open up the box, comes in a beautiful Saint Laurent dust bag as usual. I love their dust bags, they are just really well made. And are you ready to see what I picked up? I picked up a mini Lou camera bag in the grained black leather with gold hardware. Let me remove all of these things so that I can show you the bag properly. So here we go, I removed all those layers of plastic off of the bag so I can show you the bag. How cute and gorgeous is this bag? So I'm gonna show you all of the details of the bag because some of these details you just wouldn't believe that you would get on a bag that costs less than a thousand dollars. By the way, that's thousand US dollars because I've done some research. Here in Australia, it does retail for thousand four hundred and twenty dollars just because of the conversion rate. Anyway, for a bag of this price point from a premium luxury brand, I mean, it comes with so many luxurious details. And I believe that it is a brand new style to Saint Laurent. They do have a larger camera bag that they've had for a while now, but that one will be more comparable to the size of the Gucci Soho Disco bag, which I have here. So I'm just gonna quickly show you the size comparison. So here is my Gucci Soho Disco bag, and this is my new Saint Laurent bag. And you can just see the size difference there. So the other camera bag that St. Laurent has is about the size of this one because I did check that one out as well. That one is also very beautiful, but it looks a lot more casual. And because my style is not always really casual, I do think that this style would just fit into my wardrobe a lot better with all the chains and how small it is. And that green leather adds a bit of a sheen to the bag as well. So although a camera bag is typically a casual style, I feel like this particular one will have so much versatility. I can definitely see myself carrying this with a more dressy outfit. So let me just show you all of the details so you can actually agree with me what a good value this bag is. So after I show you the details, I'll also go through how versatile it is. I might even show you a few different outfits that I can pair this with um, towards the end of the video. And I'll also quickly show you how much I can actually fit in this bag. So you have an idea. If you are in a market for your first designer handbag or just an all-round a good handbag, 
handbag that you want to add to your collection that can serve you so many different purposes that will be really hard wearing I think this will just make the perfect addition to your collection as well so first of all most St. Laurent handbags retail for over $2,000 and this bag is at such a good price point with all the classic St. Laurent features including that beautiful grained leather which is really really durable it is a little bit like the caviar leather from Chanel I can just already feel how sturdy this leather will be and how carefree it is especially in the black color and it comes with that beautiful YSL hardware logo there which adds a bit of luxury to the bag and then that beautiful chain Saint Laurent chain is known to be cut really well that it reflects the light so perfectly makes the chain really shiny and beautiful and when you turn the bag around to the back it comes with a back pocket how cute is that I am a huge fan of any crossbody bags or any bag for that matter with a back pocket because I do find it so useful to put you know receipts or parking tickets that I need to get easy access to. I just love all my Chanel classic bags for that same reason. That back pocket is just so handy and it is a zip closure. So let me just open the zip and that tassel is really, really pretty as well. So the thing that I immediately noticed when I was opening this bag is how wide the mouth opening is. So if you have a look at that zippered area there, you can just see that the zippered area comes all the way down, maybe two thirds of the height of the bag. And that makes the bag so easy to get in and out of. I do own a Gucci camera bag and I did own a mini camera bag from the Marmont line. Although that bag is beautiful, I always had that one complaint that it was a little bit hard to get into the bag to get my things in and out of because of the limited mouth opening because most camera bags will only open to about there and that really restricts how wide you can open a mini bag so that's the other thing that I really love about this bag and it comes with that stuffing paper I'm gonna take the stuffing paper out so I can show you the interior it comes with the care booklet so if you have a look at the interior guys it is fully leather lined. I mean, how amazing is that for a bag that is practically under a thousand US dollars. There is just something really luxurious about a bag with full leather lining. And on the interior leather there, I'm not sure whether you can see that, but it says made in Italy with some numbers there. And then inside of the bag, there are three credit card slots there. So for a mini bag, it does give you the option of going without a card holder or a wallet to maximize the space inside of the bag. So after seeing all of these features, I just had to get this bag. I really feel like this bag will be great with a casual outfit because it is a camera bag. So just with a t-shirt and a denim skirt, jeans, whatever on the bottom with some casual sneakers and it'll just look so effortlessly chic. And because of that beautiful chain and the YSL logo at the front, with the gold hardware, I think it'll just be so easy to dress it up as well with a dress to any formal occasion. I really feel like you can wear these to so many different types of occasions and with so many different types of outfits as well. Now, I'm just going to show you how much I can actually fit in this bag. So it is very comparable to the amount that you can fit in Chanel mini flaps. So I'm gonna need my phone. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. It fits in there really comfortably. Like I mentioned before, because of the wide mouth opening, it is really easy to get the items in and out of it. And then in my mini bags, I usually carry a card holder rather than a full wallet. So this is my Chanel card holder. Fits in very comfortably. Now you can actually even forego the card holder and actually put the cards into the card slots that are inbuilt into the bag. But I just don't like having to take my cards in and out of wallets all the time. So I'll usually just carry a card holder. Next, I've just got my Hermes Bestia for all my coins because the card holder doesn't hold any coins. And that fits in perfectly as well. And then I'll pop my car key in. Now in my mini bags, I usually just take my car key out of my Louis Vuitton six key holder. Next, I'm going to put a lipstick in there as well. Next to the key, so still room in there. Next, I'm going to see if I can put a pair of sunglasses in there. In mini bags, I usually don't carry sunglasses in the sunglass case because it just is too big. Instead, I just take a budget friendly pair and wrap the sunglasses in the glasses cleaning cloth and usually just pop it on top of everything. So that fits in perfectly as well. And then I'll just show you how it all closes. Closes perfectly. 
I've taken everything back out of the bag. I just wanted to show you how a couple of popular items fit in this bag as well. So a lot of you guys I know have the Louis Vuitton mini pochette and I just wanted to show you that it fits really comfortably in there as well. So there's the mini pochette in there and then you can still fit your phone in there, the larger size iPhone, and there's still room to spare. And I'm just gonna see if I can actually fit a card holder on top of all of that. You actually can. And that's more than everything I need on a daily basis. And just to show you how it closes. Again, closes perfectly with no blanching and there is no stretching of leather. And I'll just show you how one more item fits in there. So a lot of you will have a compact size wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. Some of you may have other types of compact wallet, but they're all probably comparable in size. Fits in really easily. And then you can still easily fit your plus sized iPhone in there or any larger phone. And you can still fit a lip stick or lip gloss and your car key as well. And you can probably pop your sunglasses on top of that as well. So I'll quickly pop that in as well. So here are my sunglasses again without the case. And I'll just zip that up. Perfect. It closes perfectly again. So as you can see, this bag can actually fit all your daily essentials. So if you do want to check this bag out, I'll leave a few links to the bag down below from a few different online retailers because some of these St. Laurent bags go out of stock very quickly because they are so well priced and so pretty. So I'll leave links to whatever I can find down below. So if one site is sold out, you can always check another. And I really feel like this bag will become really popular because camera bags are just classic style of bag and it is just so pretty at a fantastic price point with all of its features. You can just tell how much I love this bag. If you have any questions about this bag, do leave them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. And if you haven't checked out my video on this beautiful St. Laurent Uptown pouch, I'll leave it up here so you can check it out because that is another fantastic value for money piece from St. Laurent. As always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys.